like the Western country, I was kind of always taught that coups were undemocratic. But they're way more complicated than this. In Thailand, coups have almost become part of the democratic system. Another way to check that the government isn't becoming too corrupt. The counter to this would obviously be the fact that a coup does not need support of the public. But just look at the latest coup, attempted coup in Turkey. The reason why it failed was not because there wasn't people that wanted to do it. It was mostly because the large support for the current government that got to the streets so early into the coup. Within hours of the coup starting, there were thousands of people on the street supporting the current government and not the new coup regime. It was for this reason that the coup failed. Of course, this does have the issue of all democratic systems. The fact that a majority of the population can wield absolute power. Most of the democratic systems don't really represent the minority groups that well, and it's no different with a coup. A coup usually represents the majority of the population because you need that public support. It is true that how Turkey's handling the coup, coup isn't really the greatest in any means, given the fact that they arrested so many people mere hours after the coup without ever having to be able to expect to have that much evidence to show that all these people were involved. It really just, just seems like they're removing any kind of opposition that they have. But with any political system, it's not so much about the system, whether it is good or not, but it's about who runs the system, if that system will work and is it ran in a fair way. I hope this opened your eyes to see that the democracy that we have is not the only one that could work. Coups can bring about good, positive change if they're done in the correct way, just like any political system. If it's ran correctly, it can, it can help everyone live a better life. Now you know more of the story. Since making and editing this video, I've actually had the opportunity to talk to a Turkish guy here in Thailand. He was in Turkey during the coup and I just got his opinion on, on the recent coup. Overall, he says that the majority of the population does support the President Aragon still at this time, even though they do understand that he may be corrupt, but they still believe that he's the best option at this time. This is largely due to the large public projects he's done, such as bridges, as well as the fact that the economy is relatively healthy. In order for me to fully dive into the topic of the Turkey coup, I'm going to be making another video hopefully next week. If you don't want to miss it, you should subscribe. And until next time, Keep those thoughts queuing. Over the last 80 years, there's been 24 different coup attempts, 13 of which were successful.